Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Aries, my name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're gonna to take a look here and see what spirit wants you to know. All right, let's take a look here. All the spirits, spirit angels, please allow me to the clear message here for the Aries Collective. What does spirit want Aries to know? All right. What do we have here for Aries? There it is. Didn't take too long. Got a main female here. A person. Let's clarify this person, see what's up. What's going on with this person? Community. Could be someone in the community, getting a sense of community. Um, it's cold in here. Um, a soul family, somebody you're connected to in a family. And we'll put one more here for this female. All right, lovers and thief. Now, the first thing I just, I did hear, this is why you always go with your first thing. I heard community, P, but we didn't want to, I didn't want to jump straight there. Let's see what spirit has to say. All right, so we got thief. Someone who's deceptive, could have taken something, could have stole something from you. Um, and they could be in your community. Take that how it resonates, okay? Your community, your um, community, <laughs> okay? Living around you, the type of people that you so associate with, um, the community, you know? Somebody here, this main female, all right? Now let's take a look and see what's going on with this main female. I didn't even know where I wanted to go. All right. <laughs> All right. Could be you too, Aries. Uh -huh. I'm just getting a sense of this is a female you're connected to, but what's the name? Holy Spirit, because of angels, please allow me to put my message here for the Aries Collective. So you know what song I just started hearing in my head? Uh, <laughs> this is how you know it's channeled because I have not heard this song in so long. Oh my God. I think it's Nivea. Don't mess with my man. I will be the one to bring it to Nivea. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see where this is about to go. Lord. Um... <laughs> I don't know if that has anything to do with the reading, but we're going to see what's going on here with Aries. We got the butterfly and talking, talking stages. Relationship is evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and the growth. Interested, conversing more, awaited messages arrive, text, email, and hoovering. Let's see here. What do we have here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising? Oh, goodness. Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming, honey. Yes. Um, surprise invitation or meeting. Hesitation. Give us one more here. Spirit. At the bottom of the deck, we have seduction. We have the clock. In time, need time, takes time. And cycles, huh? Something here is happening for you. Why did my child put this laptop up here? Oh. Mm. I need these. Matter of fact, I'm gonna pull these first. I do see seduction at the bottom of the deck. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party. All right. What do we have here for Aries? The cats. 
the cats. I know. Two faced friend. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Rose, romance is in the air. All right. And the owl, 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 good advice from a wise person. Who we have here, Aries? Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. What do we have here for Aries? Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. Career, work, something, oh goodness, dating queen, opportunities, dates, abundance, wallflower, huh, interesting, gossip, give me one more, gifts at the bottom of the deck and you have short term, quick fling, endings, Time, something here about time. Community female thief, talking the butterfly, Cupid's arrows. Somebody's about to be in love. Somebody is, has a relationship. It could be a new relationship. Um, somebody has a two-faced friend, maybe tried to interfere in a relationship or just let's say they didn't try to interfere in the relationship. They could be jealous that you get attention or more attention than more attention than them. Okay. Um, somebody tried to tell you something. Somebody on the outside tried to tell you something about this two-faced friend. Like they tried to give you advice about this. Maybe you didn't listen. Maybe it's coming. Maybe you need to take it. Okay. Somebody tried to steal or take something or was deceptive. Let's take a look here. Holy Spirit, angels, keep on the way. Come, I sit here for the Aries Collective. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. What do we have here? For Aries. King of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sag, energy here. This could be a lot of things, all right? This could be a lot of things. King of Wands is an entrepreneur, visionary leader, very passionate about what he does, very attractive energy um, on top of his game, okay? On top of it, seeking out what he wants in any aspect, uh, relationships, business, things like that. Um, sharp dresser. All right. We have the temperance energy here, balance. This is Sagittarius, so this could be confirming that this could be a Sagittarius. Somebody has very strong Sagittarius in their chart. Being patient, having things, somebody is challenged with having things in moderation could be, or that is the challenge. What do we have here for Aries? What does spirit want you to focus on Aries in this situation? Ooh, there was a betrayal. Yep, 10 of swords and a shocking one. Okay, there was a very painful ending here. This could be an ending of a cycle, but somebody was stabbed in the back. So there's a player. <laughs> uh, I was hearing that song. The boy I was like, what is that? The <laughs> oh goodness. Spirit's putting on a musical right now. Okay, I was just hearing uh backstabbers. Look it up. I think it's by the OJs. All right, so let's see here. What happened in the past? What happened in the past? The world card. The world card. Somebody could have relocated. They could have moved. There could have been some traveling. There was a cycle that closed out or ended, okay? There was a situation that ended and it was for your highest good. Could have been with a friend, six of cups here. It could have been somebody from your past. This situation ended and it was for your highest good. What's manifesting here for Aries?
Ace of Cups and the Queen of Wands. New love. And now, oh, excuse me. Mm, almost come, mm, choke my mouth. But um, you got the King of Wands here is in the situation. That could be you, Aries. This could be somebody coming towards you. We got the Queen of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. Now, there's a match, but we need to figure out how. What's coming towards you, Aries, is the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Wands came out together. An attractive energy here. It's upright, so we're not going to call her a Jezebel spirit. We're going to just say this is a very attractive person, very charismatic, creative here, charming, good looking. It's a match. We have a match here. Um, this could be a match. All right. What's coming towards Aries in the near future here? The Nine of Swords, stress, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights about something. What's in your energy here, Aries? Eight of Pentacles, paying attention to the details, building something, growth, um, studying something. It also could be internally studying something, healing something. Five of Swords, what is in your environment? Empress wanted to come out. What is in your environment? The Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. This could be an ex or someone's ex. This could be somebody who's bitter, upset. The tower's at the bottom of the deck. Hopes and fears here for Aries. Woo! Empress and the Ten of Wands. I don't know if that wanted to come out or not, but we're going to take it. It fell in my hand. We've got the Empress here, hoping for new love, a healing love, attracting something beautiful. Um, and this could be abundance, hoping that whatever was burdening you or some sort of difficult cycle is coming to an end. You're moving on from that. What's the outcome here for Aries in this situation? I'm saw the strength. What is the outcome for Aries? Strong Leo energy here. The outcome for you in this situation, Aries, is the Ten of Pentacles. This could be a relationship since a lot of these are about love. I am seeing abundance, abundance in relationships and love, things like that. Uh, stability, security could be marriage. Um, it could definitely be because I'm seeing the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands here. There's a match. And with what are you manifesting? Queen of Wands, Ace of Cups, not gender specific. It's just a match is coming in here for someone, a new love. There is a betrayal. There was an ending that Spirit is asking you to look at to examine here. Why do you need to look at something that ended? What was something about this betrayal? And the nine of swords is in the front of you coming in, stress, anxiety, and worry, sleepless nights. That means that if you're worrying about something or something is on your mind while you're trying to sleep, that's usually your spirit intuition is trying to tell you something. Um, we got the six of cups here at the bottom of the deck. What could they be trying to tell you? You're not behind me again. Here's your intuition trying to tell you. Tell us about the Nine of Swords first, which is in front of you, coming towards you. Something is bothering you, keeping you up at night, having you stress and worry. Tell me about the Nine of Swords and the future position for Aries. Ace of Pentacles, new opportunities. Um, could even be an offer, a proposal. Could even be a really big apology, but it's a new beginning here. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Tell us more about this Nine of Swords energy in the future. The Magician. The Nine of Cups and the Six of Swords. Those all fall up together. I'm going to pull one more here for this Nine of Swords and the Hierophant. Aries, it seems like you're worried about a blessing. Tell me about the Magician before we go any further. Five of Cups wanted to flip out there. Knight of Swords with the Magician. Tell me about the Magician. 
the fool a new beginning this comes in quickly but this this knight of swords is external to this energy tell me about this knight of swords two of swords somebody causing confusion this could be a two-faced energy um, causing confusion here you're in your head about a new opportunity a new blessing something you've no this is not you. you yes you manifested it but this magician goes with this so you have this you have this you're worried and stressed about a new beginning definitely new beginning which is bringing in a wish fulfillment here this was upright and the six of swords and the hierophant could be a relationship marriage that brings you a lot of peace you're moving on from conflict chaos but the knight of swords well clarify the magician specifically i got the knight of swords and the two of swords all gemini energy here seems like this magician is playing tricks could be very manipulative what is the information this magician is bringing in something to confuse someone six of pentacles in reverse something someone didn't ask for hmm let's move on let's take a look at the queen of swords in your environment nine of wands this queen of swords is holding on to something this queen of swords is holding on to something some something they're not letting go of very wounded energy here and they're determined this queen of swords is determined page of swords this queen of swords could be spying on you trying to gain information get information in the chariot they could be coming towards you the ten of swords now so now we got the ten of swords twice here so this queen of swords the nine of wands page of swords and the ten of swords this queen of swords is hanging on to a in an ending that's very painful betrayal they could have caused it tell us about the ten of swords here spirit, spirit wants areas to pay attention to tell us about this ten of swords queen of wands two of pentacles this could be the other woman or someone okay who was juggling that could have been the betrayal somebody was juggling found out they were juggling you yep queen of pentacles two people here so two somebody was juggling you high priestess having a secret relationship secrets you found out about tell me more and the justice and there was karma there was justice there was lessons to be learned here libra energy here seems like there could have been healing from that so what's the situation here tell me about the queen of wands and the ace of cups king of pentacles here I want to say chariot and the moon what is this that fell out four cups tell me about that king of pentacles world card king of pentacles in reverse world card in reverse the sun and the three of swords a third party is revealed but this is the thing aries i'm trying to make sense of it because i see kind of what's happening here it's like tell me about the king of wands it's like somebody is having a ten of wands is burdened by something page of cups this seems to be the new person seven of swords deceptive lying it's it looks like aries here that someone and there's a friend involved okay looks like somebody here and this could have been a situation already going on and somebody coming back around this queen of swords is is holding on to something and this is external to you upset and watching maybe even plotting and planning spirit is like pay attention to either the people that are around you or i'm not saying bring anything back up from the past 
but make sure that you pay attention. It's something that is around you. It must be around you currently. And maybe you don't know about it because the high priestess is here. It could be hidden. It's like somebody is watching you. And maybe you haven't entered into this new relationship yet, but it's like somebody is watching you to see when you are going to be in a new relationship. And the person who's watching you could have hurt you or betrayed you in the past. They feel like there's some sort of unfinished business, something unsettled. And they're wanting to receive, like they're wanting to do something again. They're wanting to hurt you, Aries. I'm just going to put it out there, okay? And then the way that they want to hurt you is by messing a, or taking from you, the thief card there is taking, stealing, stealing. Because you got this King of Wands energy here. There's somebody here who's wanting to take this, steal this, cause confusion, create illusions around a new relationship for you. And I don't think it's an ex-lover. I think it's a friend. Or quote-unquote friend, right? Um, maybe even wanting to entice this new person. And mind you, this is nothing that has happened yet. Like it could have happened in the past, but this has not happened yet. It's like somebody is a sitting duck waiting. You're nervous about something. Now, some of you, do you got somebody around you that you got to watch when you have new people in your life? Then that could be it. Like, do you know you have a friend in your life currently right now that you feel like you got to watch when you bring your new girl or your new man around? People got people got people like that. I've had that, but not anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, because that's what I'm getting the sense of. Or let's say they're not in your life currently. <clears throat> well, let me say this. Let me break this down too. This is, this is, part B to this situation. Aries, you have a new person coming into your life and it's going to be really good. It is going to be very good. Some of you may just be worried as well that somebody is going to interfere because maybe they've done things like this in the past, presently, uh, in the past. Um, and I do see somebody rushing in with the Knight of Swords and the Magician and the Two of Swords trying to block something or create confusion. And around this King of Wands, who's your partner, or the Queen of Wands is your partner, there is just some, because the Queen and the King of Wands are definitely a, a new couple or a new, new pair that is about to form. And you know what's interesting I get is that this is how you'll know this is your, this is, this is how you'll know it's your story for most of you. This might be happening on both sides. So let me tell you how that's going to work. You meet someone, right? And you got this new thing going on. It's good. Like you may have a two-faced friend who's trying to interfere but the person that you're dating, it's not that they have a two-faced friend. Theirs looks more like an ex. Theirs looks like somebody who has is not gotten over them that is trying to interfere. So two separate scenarios, but you both got third parties or people trying to interfere on your relationship. Sounds like a lot of drama. All right. But anyways, the outcome is the Ten of Pentacles. Solid as a rock. All right. <laughs> I don't know where all these songs are coming. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, what was that that tried to flip out? The judgment. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. I told you. That's why they said solid as a rock. That's what Spirit was saying. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles to clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. I don't just be hearing shit in my head for no reason. I mean, my spirit guides are pretty funny. They are pretty funny. But, um... Yeah, I heard solid as a... So look, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This relationship that you're about to be in is going to be solid. Doesn't matter if there's a two-faced friend coming in trying to interfere and take your man or woman. Doesn't matter. It's going to be solid. You can trust this person. Doesn't matter if they have an ex who's trying to interfere, who's not over them. Doesn't matter. They're not looking back. Ten of Pentacles clarifying Ten of Pentacles. This is solid. 
but I mean, Aries, for you, the, 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 the message here is the overall energy, right? We just, everything else is just the in-between. Main female thief and community. And I heard community P in the beginning, okay? Um, no, no. This could be you, you could be a woman, you could be a lesbian. I don't know. Some of you, if it doesn't have to be, if you know you got a man who's a, you're a man and you have a friend who's like that, I've heard a lot of stories. I have male friends. I've heard a lot of stories like that in that arena with men, okay? Um, so barely could trust anybody these days. All right. Um, so it's not shocking that that would be happening where somebody tries to holler at somebody's girl behind, you know, on the side. It happens a lot. Um, 10 of Pentacles. Did they say on the slide? Did they say on the slide? Do people say that? I don't know. I have an old soul. I don't know. Anyways, 10 of Pentacles, here's your outcome to the whole situation, Aries. It's literally seven of wands. It's giving, you're not going to be able to break down this for it. You're not going to be able to break down this relationship, this future connection here. What came out? The Ace of Wands. You have a new relationship, a new beginning here. Passionate one. I'm going to say this because you got the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. So it doesn't matter if you're man, woman, man, man, woman, woman. This is going to be your match. This is going to be your match. Okay. You guys both got eyes for each other. I think these are the, are these the only pair that are looking at each other. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Maybe it's it. Maybe it's not. Let me just see. I just want to see. Let me find the King of Swords since the Queen of Swords is out here. They could all be looking at each other, and I just didn't really notice. You know. Let me see. I know for one, the Queen of Pentacles be looking down at her coins. So, how they view a Queen of Pentacles? <laughs> Uh, she's looking down at her coins. Let's see. I just want to see. Sorry, y'all. I got to amuse myself here real quick. I don't think the King of Swords came out in this reading. What's that? The Tower? Mm -mm. Nope. King of Swords is looking straight ahead. Queen of Swords is looking at the king of swords so that's probably like somebody's at but anyways no yeah so we got and i don't know i know not i know not the queen of cups and the king of cups because the king of cups was looking straight ahead so these two that's how you know that's why they're the passionate couple all right and <laughs> they're already trying to get it on but no seriously they're both looking at each other there's going to be a very passionate fiery connection here um somebody that you're going to meet doesn't mean that they're another fire sign they could be um, but I think the chemistry is going to be on and popping. And you got the Ace of Cups that came out with the Queen of Wands. So it's a new beginning for you. You definitely got somebody here who's trying to be tiptoe and sneak on in. And I feel like it's two people. Um, now look, and I told you this in the beginning. Look at this. You got the Dating Queen and you got the Wallflower. It's like two people, two friends. You got somebody who gets a lot of attention, maybe somebody who doesn't. Somebody must be jealous that somebody else gets a lot of attention. They're trying to interfere or sneak in. And that could, doesn't have to be women, could be men too. Could be men too. All right. You got new love. Cupid's love is coming. And this is the crazy part is I feel like for a lot of you, the disgusting part, the slick part is that you waited a long time for this new beginning that's about to come. You waited a long time. I just got a ringing in my ear. You waited a long time for this new beginning and somebody really is going to try to come in and sneak on in. I'm interested in conversing more weighted messages arrive, text calling. Somebody could send a message. Let's clarify the thief. Three of Wands, waiting, death card, in something. Ooh, child. Three of Wands, the death card, and the devil. This thief here is toxic. They're not. Mm, 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 mm. Scorpio, Capricorn, and fire energy. We got the temperance, Sagittarius energy. And the five of swords. This person. 
I feel like this person is waiting. I don't know who this is. I feel like this person is patiently waiting to try to start some shit, to fuck some shit up. This five of swords is, is, is a malicious card. It's a narcissistic card. Like there's somebody who is patiently waiting to interfere and cause some sort of conflict. That's kind of deranged. And I'm not surprised the devil's clarifying this. It's almost like somebody is sitting back waiting to interfere on something. Okay? Waiting to try to end something. So they definitely could be watching and stalking you. Because look, over here we got the Nine of Wands. They won't let some... So maybe y'all had drama. You got the Queen of, Queen of Swords watching here, the Page of Swords, and the Ten of Swords. They are waiting to do some to backstab you waiting to do something malicious because the three of wands is a card of waiting and you got the devil the death card scorpio capricorn sagittarius energy could be any of those and the five of swords to be malicious to be manipulative to play some sort of mind game Aries, this is kind of, this is kind of scandalous. I'm going to leave it right there. Um, hide your wife, hide your kids. <laughs> I don't know who this could be, but I'm sure if this reading is for you, you know. You know if it's you, you know if you have somebody around you like that. Um, or had someone. Had someone around you like that. Because this could be somebody that you're not, you're separated from right now. I'm talking about the two-faced person. And they're sitting in the shadows, like plotting, waiting to see or know or find out if you have happiness. Three of Swords in the Sun card. So I don't know, I would say this. Keep your shit under wraps until you feel secure in your relationship, but you know you'll find the one. You know you got the one. You know you've met the one when none of this matters, okay? Because that's what it's showing here with somebody. Doesn't It does not matter. You know you have the one or your person when it does not matter if somebody tries to interfere because they're going to tell them to get the hell on. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're going to tell the two-faced friend and they're going to tell their ex to go ahead, move around, right? It's not going to phase them to just tell them to move. Now, you know, you got a problem if you got you're with somebody who entertains the two-faced friend. If you, you know, if they're weak like that, then you know you're not with the one and you just let them go and do what they do, right? Um, but you're, you're going to know you have the one when the person you're with is not even going to entertain that shit at one bit. Okay. So that's what I have for you guys. Take care. 3333.